Hi, welcome to my second vlog. Alright, finally got the camera in the right place so I don't have to hold on to it anymore. And that will prevent the problem of shaking around. Sorry, just juggling around. Juggling around with this thing I have. It's a, it's a Buddhist necklace. I'm supposed to wear it for good luck, but I'm not wearing it because it's too heavy. As simple as that. Also, it's not very, it's not a stylish, stylish thing to wear. Anyway. Anyway, today I had a great day. I had a great day. Uh, I went out approaching girls during lunch breaks and that was really that was really really refreshing because uh, the whole thing was so easy so easy that uh, it doesn't really take a lot of effort and all that thing we made all that excuse we made up in our mind that approaching pickup is hard pickup is Draining is bullshit. Cause I remember I had a choice um, between sitting in the common room and eating lunch, or not even eating lunch, just scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, or I could go out and talk to girls, and that's what I did. Amazing, huh? Uh, had a had a few they're all great interactions uh, I think I said this yesterday I'm not sure because I was pretty tired when I filmed the other video uh, I, th I think I said this yesterday that you gotta love your retarded approach um, they are your own creation so why not love them they're like like it's funny they like your retarded kid and you just have to love them as equally as your kid who is a genius I think that's a great expression of self-love and today at the clinic I had this um, epiphany a kind of mini mini epiphany again about the intent thing and be present in the moment it was exactly like what Tyler said in his videos on hot seats at home we have to really want to get into the other person's head when we are talking to them so it doesn't matter how loud I'm talking I can still manage to get my message across but of course that doesn't mean I just whisper it just means that I have to yeah it just means that I have to be there with a very clear with a very clear intent I mean that's what I'm in you gotta talk with a uh, very clear intent. Uh, I'm I don't know if you just noticed how my voice just got higher, cause I was literally straining to project my voice when I'm going at a very high, very low pitch, pitch. Yeah, I was. It was getting harder, so I thought I was kind of switch my voice. To a slightly higher pitch. Uh, I'm gonna look at this video later and see if there is any difference. But yeah, it's easier to project your voice when you are kind of in a higher pitch. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm just more used to talking in that pitch. Cause and also today in the clinic, I I noticed that whenever Whenever I'm talking, if I if I try to do the like this, like the lower pitch thing, 
and kind of consciously lower my hyoid, then <clears throat> I can't really last long in the, in the conversation and there really is no uh, tonality variance in my voice. And it's even harder to uh, input in, to put emotion behind the things I'm saying, even though with a high pitch, you get a little less uh, leadership vibe. I don't know. Anyway, I notice that whenever I run out of, whenever I don't know what to say, you know, ask questions. It doesn't really matter. Asking questions or just share stories. Oh yeah, I love those Frankies. I think they are better than Subways. Sorry, I was just... I don't know where I came from. I think I was looking back at one of the interaction I had today. Uh, I reckon I could have got it better. Got it down better. I think the reason uh, sometimes, especially in the first couple of approach, when people can't really, or at the beginning of the day, when people can't really hear me, is because that I try to, I try to lower my voice with the, by lowering my hyoid, whatever you call that. I think it's hyoid, yeah. Adam's apple. When you try to lower it, uh, consciously, rather than projecting a loud voice at a higher pitch, because I don't know if my voice just changed or maybe it just sounds the same to you guys. Yeah, I don't know. But after talking a higher pitch for like two minutes, two, three minutes, I I feel like now I have more power behind my voice. I'm no longer straining to project my voice now. It's funny, isn't it? Two minute two minutes ago I was straining to to get, to get louder, but now I have absolutely no problem doing that right now. It's funny because I'm not even consciously consciously trying to lower my voice. Uh, it's funny when I just did that, I actually can feel the strain of my vocal cords, and I think maybe I maybe you do it in that way also makes me sound more monotone without any emotion so I'm kind of hitting the right spot with my voice I think I will get there uh, pretty soon gonna experiment with that tomorrow and with regards to the person persona f persona fatigue Tyler was talking about it's basically he was talking about when you're going out socializing talking to so many people you get all these reactions throwing at you and if you're not careful you can easily be at the effect rather than the cause like he talks about but what you really want to do is you want to be at the cause not the effect so in order to combat that when you're doing so many approaches the best way is to stay congruent to your true self, to your real you, which is a very you know, wishy-washy term because if you're always depressed, then does that mean that's the real you? Absolutely not. That is far from the real you. The core essence of who you are is kind of hard to define because everything you want to put a label on is just an ego trying to make sense or trying to attach itself to a to a meaning or to a to something just, the ego just want to attach itself to something that it can grab onto so it can exist and that's the thing I'm the most scared about the ego is that 
it has it's not it's not bad ego is not bad but it can it can limit our potential in life we if we are not careful about it and as I'm talking I just noticed that um, maybe it's a habit I'm trying to lower my voice consciously to try to get into that low tone but I realized that I don't really need to do that because right now I think I'm speaking at that confident tone and pitch without without really forcing it in any way anyway kind of tired I remember on my way home I thought about there was a girl walking in front of me and because I live in a small city I figure you know I probably have already approached her some in some way some form maybe just say hi during a warm-up but anyway I thought about how my lunch break went and I reminded myself how effortless and how easy it is to just go up and chat to someone right because you don't really want anything from them it's about sharing good energy and good frame of mind something I always remind myself is that happiness is where you are right now yeah happiness is where you are right now I think Peacock has this obsession with or how sexy your tone of voice should be but I realize the more you try the more it ends up incongruent like something is just off yeah I noticed that anyway I think my conversation is getting real good I know there were times during like when I was in Melbourne, when I was crushing it hard and doing game every day for almost two weeks. I was doing pretty well back then. But I think this kind of momentum needs to, you kind of need to keep up with this kind of momentum in order to get to the next level. Sometimes I wonder if the next level it really exists or is it like some kind of desire our ego is trying to get to anyway really tired right now I should go to bed but I think I should study for a bit because I have a problem with this phone it's so shit it's a Asus Zen phone I don't know if you have it if you have it, chuck it away. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's just it's very laggy. And the battery drains so fast. I'm charging my phone as we're recording right now. Um I most of my friends have started using iPhones, even the ones who are using Samsung or other kinds of Android system before. And I realized that, you know, I'm pretty sold on iPhone right now. It's so, it runs very smooth, even after two or three years of operation, using it. This reminds me of, man, this reminds me of uh, the good times. I remember even back then, when I was not doing so well in pickup, Especially when I first went to Sydney to really crush it with pickup. I remember I was four or five months in and it was around winter in July during the semester break. I spontaneously booked myself a ticket to Australia. Yeah, I spontaneously booked myself a ticket to Australia and to Sydney 
because you now I realize in order to get better at this, I need to go to a big city where I, where there is an abundance of women, attractive women, who I can really practice my social skills on. So I remember when I first went there. Every day, I had an instant date with another traveler or some or a local. And I remember the first the first day I got there, I arrived at seven a.m. or a.m. in the morning. I was very excited. And、uh, it was early in the morning. I was actually very tired because I had to wake up at five a.m. to catch the flight. I never really like flying to Sydney because the flight's always so early in the morning. But I remember on that day, I didn't waste any time. The moment I dropped my bag and my brother's place in Sydney, I just I head off to the city center. The CBD area, and especially to the Opera House, and started gaming. It was a lot of fun, and I, looking back, even though I didn't really 